just ran four miles last week. I did run five miles, but I actually cut that footage. Whew, I took a few days off, but um, I was in a really grumpy place. I was in a bad place. And I didn't think that you guys needed <laughs> to see that. So I decided to nix all of that footage. Hold on, let's get this. It's a little better, not really. I decided to nix all that footage and come to you this week with a better attitude in a much better place. So I took last week off and this week I am ready for a reset. Um, Oh, you guys have asked me about these headphones. I have found them. I will link them for you in the description box. I do need to get another pair. I've had this pair for about, I don't know, two or three years. And I got these from Costco. And that used to be the best place for me to get them. And now I can't find them at Costco. So I have found them on Amazon. They're still pretty expensive, but I, I'm sorry. I'm playing with my hair because it's like, I'm extremely sweaty. It's very hot. I haven't even told you the date and the time. I will. Hang on. Um, oh goodness. Anyway, I'm going to look, I'm looking at some that are wireless, not wireless, um, not connected to each other that are independent, more like my AirPods, but they hook over the ear. I am looking at those because I'd like to run with only one headphone instead of two. So, um, and then that way I can run with them and if the battery goes dead in one, I can put the other one in and we're good to go. Uh, I do have AirPods, they don't stay in my ears. AirPods have never stayed in my ears. So, um, maybe there's a little adapter I can get for my AirPods. I don't know, I'll look and see. Anyway, um, so this week I am calling it a reboot. New attitude, new everything. Today, it is 7, 10 a.m., Monday, June 1st, 72 degrees outside. Um, I ran four miles this morning. I don't know what my pace was. I, that's my phone. So let's see if I can get it to pull up on my watch. Probably not. But um, I'm super proud of myself, and um, I, I'm running farther and farther every day. Well, not today. I need to order a water belt. Um, I am discovering that I need to run with a water belt. My cup, my mug, my big water mug is, like I said, the more I drink, the thirstier I am. I know I'm not looking at the camera, I'm sorry. It's over here and I keep looking over here and I need to look over there. Anyway, um, it's being soaked with soapy hot water right now. So that's why I don't have it. Tonight for dinner, I don't know what we're gonna have. I need to sit down and meal plan, but today I have a great big video to film if the sun comes out, which I'm not sure she's gonna. Oh my goodness, it's even, ew, look, hang There you go. That's a little better. The squirrel, squirrels are scurrying around. Anyway, so I just wanted to greet you this morning. Say good morning to you, Miss Fafa. Fafa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Sophia, so pretty. You have a fly on your head. It's gonna be a much better week this week. Much better week. Are you in this with me? Alright, time for a reboot. I'll see you in a minute. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that baby. <gasps> What's your brother doing? Blackie. I have the couch all covered up with a blanket to try and keep it a little bit cleaner, but I think I'm just gonna throw that in the wash and did I disturb you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Did we catch your cuteness on camera? <gasps> Be -too. Be -too. <gasps> You're so cute. You're so cute. What do you think, mister? What do you think? You think he's cute? Or are you cuter? You're definitely cuter, huh? Squinty. Oh, uh oh. Whoa. I know, I know. She came up here. What now? Alert, alert. I know. It's okay. I'll keep you safe. Don't worry. She's coming near. 
He just freaked out Grayson. Grayson. Oh. You're getting brave in your old age, aren't you? Oh. Tell her, get up here in my face. I'll show you. Right. <laughs> Little bit and Yasmin are friends. They play all the time. Good morning. It is 9.32 a.m. Tuesday, the 2nd of June, 78 degrees outside. How are you today? I hope that you are doing well. Um, today is going to be kind of a, it's going to be a busy day. I have been on the computer all morning working for our business, not for YouTube. Um, and so I haven't really gotten started on my day. I did go ahead and get dressed. I spent several hours filming my bathing suit try on haul yesterday and I didn't like the inside footage. I didn't like what I said. I didn't, I just didn't, I didn't give enough information. I was kind of rushing. Sometimes when I film something new and different for myself, I have to film it two or three times, not, not just at that moment, but like over the course of a week before I get it to where I really like it. Even if I write myself a little bit of a script, which I don't like to do because you guys can tell. <laughs> I just slammed my thumb into the door. Oh, it hurts. Um, anyway, so um, I did my hair yesterday with the Duvall. I'll leave that video up here. This is the second day. I did it a little more relaxed this time. I really like it. I really, really like it. And this time I did it much faster. I just went all the way this side and this side. I didn't put my hair up and I did bigger chunks and it was just a more relaxed curl. I like it. I like it a lot. So Chandler's heels have been cracked and dry. So I ordered this for him and he has had some really good luck and so have I. Um, I know this isn't the one, they have one specific for feet, but um, I was reading somewhere or watched something where somebody said this was a better value and had all the exact same ingredients in it. Hi, Evie. So I went ahead and got this and so far it's working pretty well. Um, we've used a little bit of it in here and maybe you don't know, but um, we used to use this for Robbie and he had a severe allergic reaction. So I've been kind of hesitant in the hospital allergic reaction, been sort of hesitant to bring it back in the house, but he doesn't live here anymore and he knows not to touch it. He's a grown, he's a grown adult and knows not to touch it. So, hi Missy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hi baby girl. Come on, you have to get down. Come on, I know. So I don't know when you're gonna see it or when I'm gonna be able to cook it in the next day. It will definitely be in the next day. Oh, my face is so itchy and I've got to go film that video and now I'm gonna have a bright red nose. The chicken, I'm about, Evie, she ran into the camera, knocked the camera down. Anyway, um, I want to make salsa verde enchiladas and salsa verde chicken. So that's on the menu for this week. I need to make some tortillas and I need to clean my house. I have that kind, you know, like I need to clean the bathrooms. I need, I missed it last week. It has been really, the last seven days, I haven't vlogged, you know that. They were really tough for me since Memorial Day, the day after Memorial Day. Um, we had some stress with grandma, she's fine. Um, just a lot of things were going on. She was in the hospital, she's out, she's fine. She's perfectly fine. Um, but you know, as you know, maybe it's different in your area. We couldn't go with her, we couldn't be in the hospital with her. She was there all by herself. It was just a really bad week. We were in a bad place and it's been tough. And like I said, this week is a reset. So I'm trying to get there. I really am, but I'm still a little stressed anyway. So. We're gonna have salsa verde enchiladas this week. I want to make some meatballs. I wanna make a meatball lasagna with the nuda. So that is coming. Um, and uh, what else is there? Hi, Evie. Oh, I changed up my coffee for the subscription, my Amazon subscription, and ordered the Crave coffee. This is the variety pack. There's 100 in here. Um, the flavors that are in here are hazelnut, Butter toffee, 
there's a lot of them in here a lot of different ones in here blueberry vanilla now look it's coffee i know you're going that's weird it is weird but it's really good and i'm not really a blueberry girl i'm strawberry and lemon that's me lime strawberry lemon lime um this is really really good i would say this is a dessert coffee i'm not sure i'm gonna drink it well i might drink it as my morning coffee it is me um there's a bunch of different flavors uh did i say butter toffee yeah butter toffee i said cinnamon tea the coffee um this one's french vanilla this is just like a variety pack uh, Vermont maple, hazelnut, vanilla. I don't know. There was a ton of different varieties in here. The nose. What? I needed some variety. So um, there we go. And I'm excited about that. I also bought this. I always miss this. Is it upside down? I always miss this in the fall. I never, it's always sold out. So I was like, well, we're gonna go ahead and get it. So this one is apple crumb donut coffee, pumpkin spice coffee, pecan pie coffee, and cinnamon bun coffee. And, um, oh, there's hair in my face. So there you go. I'm not gonna open this one. I might, I don't know. I have enough coffee. These are both on subscription now. Um, I, ha I have enough coffee. This is a long, maybe a month's worth. I know, that's a lot. Um, but, there you go, so there's that. Now, I also picked up, they're stuck together, so let me get them open. I love Quest, so here is vanilla, and this one is chocolate. Now, I'm gonna put this in my coffee. I did get this, so what I'm gonna try and do is make two cups of coffee and put a scoop of this and a scoop of this in there, and we're gonna see how that tastes, okay? We're just gonna try that. Also. Um, I've seen recipes for like uh, chocolate shakes, vanilla shakes, and things like that. And um, I'd like to try both of them. And Rob used to drink protein milk in every morning, and we've sort of gotten out of the habit. But he takes a big container of you know something to work every morning, so I kind of thought we could try to mix this up and try this a little bit for him in the mornings too. Um, but this has 110 calories and two net carbs and 22 grams of protein. This one has uh, two, two net carbs. Is it two net carbs? I, it's sometimes, yeah, two, two net carbs, one gram of sugar, and um, 110 calories, 24 grams of protein. So I just thought we would try these. And um, they have the two pack on Amazon for about $10 off if you buy the two pack versus buying them individually. So I thought we would try that. And so there you go. Now, I haven't put these on subscription yet. I wanna make sure that we actually use them. You guys know how I feel about protein powder. I'm not a fan, but Quest actually has recipes where you can make muffins with these, different shakes in the morning, and things like that. And um, I'm trying to kind of, I eat a very large breakfast because by the, by the time I'm done running and all of that, I'm starving, like I'm really hungry. So I used to just have a protein shake in the mornings and um, that's, I'd like to get back to that. And then I can have my breakfast for lunch, which I really love to do anyway, or even for dinner. So, but I'm just finding that I'm eating too much bacon and um, too many eggs, can't do that, that's fine. But um, just too much bacon and having too large of a breakfast and I'm craving something sweet in the mornings. So this, I'm just gonna try this as a solution. So there you go. Um, so you'll see that I have a I have a magic bullet. I don't know if you need one, but I have one. I just want to smell this. If it smells good and doesn't smell like protein powder, then that's kind of a good thing. Oh, I've already got a whiff of it. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like milk and vanilla. So okay, that's fine. We're gonna try this. Anyway, I, it's 9.42, I am not hungry. I've had a big breakfast. So, like I said, we're gonna do, in the coffee, 
we're gonna we're gonna try different things so now what I need to do is put this away and I need to go and film that bathing suit video that I am procrastinating on and um, just because I've done it once already and it's so you get so hot changing in and out of bathing suits and things like that there's six of them so and I've already done it once and I'm gonna do it again anyway oh with this lipstick isn't this a pretty color so I found this in my collection of lipsticks. I couldn't even tell you where it came from, but it's a Lancome lipstick, one of the ones you push the bullet at the top and it springs open. Um, and I wore this yesterday just because I was trying to get like a nicer, like almost a red lip, but this is not red. This is a pink and a pinky red. And, but I didn't want it to look like a fall color because I have like all these fall colors. I don't have a cherry red. And, this is not a cherry red, it's a pinky red. This stayed on all day. I was like, I was not expecting it. So I'm putting it on again today, we're gonna try it out. So with my fall nails. Um, anyway, I really, really like it. It's very comfortable. Um, it didn't bleed into my lips, but this might be a fun one to wear like on port days when I'm gonna be in port all day and then I can just bring a lip balm, you know, my sunscreen lip balm to reapply and then this stays on. Well, maybe it won't with the lip balm, but like it, I like it a lot. So I did my makeup exactly the same as yesterday. And Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping at ya. Stop yapping. Are you ready? I'm gonna go film this video. Hello. Hello. It is 2.19 p.m. Um, it is still the second 2nd of June, 92 degrees outside. I can't believe it's already June. Uh, right? It's crazy that it's already June. As, as slow as the year has gone by, it's gone by really fast. I mean, like, the, all of this stuff we're all going through anyway. So, our restaurants have been open out here a couple weeks now. I think a couple weeks. Yeah, it's the end of, the end of May, like yeah. 23rd or something. had Tex-Mex in a minute. I mean, other than at home. So, whoops. So, that's where we're going. We're going to Lopez. Yep. You know, it's our favorite. So, that's where we're headed, and um, I'm going to have some corn, and you're going to see or hear how I sound afterwards. It is what it is. And then we're going to go to an H-E-B that's just down from Lopez. Um, it's a newer one, bigger one. Um, then the one we have, we're just going to run in. I have like five things on my list. Uh, most of them are for Chandler's, like almond milk and, you know, little things like that. Um, and then uh, I have to go to the P.O. box and then we're going to go home. Yeah. So it's just exciting to be out of the house. I mean, I never leave the house. <laughs> I mean, really, since all of this has been going on. I mean, I go to the office with him on Wednesdays, but that's the office. That's not... No. Yeah, so I have my little Stitch Fix outfit on today, and um, I'm sorry, my arm is not used to vlogging anymore. I'm gonna have to get it like condition, yeah. arm strength. That's right, I'm gonna have to condition my arm for vlogging when we get back on the cruise ships. So, can't wait. A lot of you have been asking when our next cruise is. We do have a cruise in August. Are we actually sailing? I don't know. That cruise has been moved three times, two times. Twice. Twice. And, um... I know p &O just announced that they're postponing cruises until, I think, October. I don't hold me on that. I just know they yeah. postponed it. That's part of our goal. Yeah. So, we're really going to have to see. I mean, I don't know. Of course, I am so ready to cruise. But here's the deal. We've been talking about the fact that if it gets moved from August, we may just take a weekend away and go like a staycation and go someplace in Austin or San Antonio. You know, our favorite places. We haven't been to San Antonio in a while. Yeah. Um, but maybe visit the Riverwalk or something like that just for a weekend away. Of course, we'll bring you with us. And, um, you know, maybe bring uh, Carl and Donna, weekend in Dallas. I don't know, something. Um, that's where all the good food is for those of us who can't eat grains and gluten. Dallas, Austin. So I don't know about San Antonio yet. I'm sure we can find it. Yeah. So anyway, I was watching Marnie Goldberg and she talked about a place called Doe, D-O-U-G-H. 
and I was watching a very old vlog. I have started back to the very beginning of her channel and watching her vlogs from the beginning until when I started watching her, like in 2015. Anyway, um, I haven't told him about this place yet, but it has like salads and stuff. I don't know if it's still open, but that's what sort of sparked me going, we need to go to San Antonio. We haven't been since the kids were little and we haven't been to the river walk in ages. So yeah, if it's open in August, like if the river walk is open and hotels are open, that may be what we do if the cruise is canceled again. So I don't know, we'll see, we will see. Of course we will only do what's safe and I don't wanna have to walk around the river walk with a mask on. So if that's the case, uh, we'll see. Yeah, someplace a little cooler, maybe up like Colorado or something. Denver. Yeah, Denver. Yeah, we'll have to see. Seriously, we got to get away, um, and uh, you guys need some travel content, right? Want to get away? Is that what the Southwest fairs are called? Yes. That's it. Yeah. So, anyway, all right. So we are. Hold on. We are on the Grand Parkway, headed to Lopez, and uh, it's on the other side of. West Park Tollway. A little ways on the other side of West Park Tollway. Look. There's, the There's one of our HEBs. Is that the central? That's the plus. Yes. That's an HEB plus. They used to have electronics and stuff like that in there. They don't have it in there anymore. They took all of that out. Um, now it's just a great big huge HEB with a ton of selection. We will have to take you in there sometime, but that's not the HEB we're going to. Traffic. Wow. I haven't seen traffic in ages this guy. Good lord, dude. There's no... Goodness. She slowed to like 10 miles per hour and she didn't need to. The traffic was in the far right lane, not in our lane at all. She was going to cause an accident. Oh, I see. She's busy chatting. Anyway, um, so there you go. And then here is my Ulta. See, there's West Park Tollway. And then right over here is Ulta, but you can't see it. But I promise it's there. And Best Buy is there. There it is. Peeking over. That's Best Buy and Ulta. Pier 1, sadly, is closing. A lot of the restaurants over here really haven't made it. I don't know what that one is, but it closed already. Oh, that was a Carl's Jr., yeah. But uh, look at all the, re the restaurants with cars in the parking lot. It's been so long since we've seen that. But there's PetSmart, we like to go there. Famous Footwear, Ross, I rarely go to Ross. There's Chick-fil-A. James Avery. James Avery, love James Avery. Busy Boy Mediterranean Grill and Cafe. I wonder if that's gluten free. IHOP, Whataburger, you know, all the Texas favorites. Whataburger. That is... used to be a pizza place. Oh, that's right. We went into that pizza place, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, we talked about that. Like, yeah, it's not gluten free. It's gluten friendly. Gluten friendly, yeah. Never mind. Anyway, so this is where the uh, Grand Parkway ended for quite some time. <laughs> and now it continues on all the way to Sugarland. Alright, we will see you in Lopez. We're almost there. We're like two minutes away. Alright, here we are. Oh, my purse just flew. So it's in the gallery furniture. Gallery furniture used to have um, a uh, different restaurant in there. Luckily for us, it failed so Lopez could move in. Yeah, because Lopez used to be way across town for us. I mean, this isn't super close, but it's not as far as the other one was. It saves us about 30 minutes. Yeah, and it was always rush hour traffic whenever we would go. Anyway, they got this outside little place here now so they can have more seating. So we will see. All right, yummy. Today we have 1978 prices all day. Interesting. All right, so here's the new little outside area they have. It's nice. Nice and covered. I bet it's really nice in the evening. Hey, I'd eat outside if it meant I got to eat here. A single use menu. Just in case you ever get to come out here. I have to ask for a gluten-free menu. I totally forgot. Alrighty, here's our gluten-free menu. Of course, we're gonna get a chili con queso. And I think I'm gonna get. Did you show them that? I'm getting ready to show them that. I think I'm gonna get either fajitas or 
tacos. Uh, make sure there's tacos on the menu. They change it up every now and then, what's gluten free and what's not. And then look at this. Look at those prices. 1978 prices all day. Nice. What time is it, honey? Queso time. It's queso time. It's always queso time. Oh my goodness, you guys. They just came and told me the chips are gluten free. The queso, of course, is gluten free. It's on the menu. I'm so excited. Yep. I'm going for it. Okay, here are my tacos. Now they brought me rice and beans, but I can't eat that. That's not gluten free. So, anyway, Rob got, I, I gave him one of my tacos. And there's Rob's dinner. Yummy. I'm so excited. We're going in. Hobby Lobby is packed. Look at that. Well, when this guy moves, or he doesn't move. So many cars. Oh my goodness. So we decided to come to the H-E-B Plus. It's on the way home. Yeah, it's on the way home. There's Hobby Lobby. And sadly, Palais Royal is closing. I don't ever think about shopping there, but that is, I used to shop there all the time. So, all right, there's H-E-B. So, let's see what the inside. Yep, they have the hibbity hib. I love the little gardens that are out front. I love those pots. I would love to have a ton of the blue ones. I would love to have them all over my patio. I have the blue in my kitchen. Grills. Oh. Uh oh, we have to wait in line to get in. The best produce department in Texas is at HEB. Easily, hands down, I love it. There he is. Oh, what'd you find? Get some. Which, whoa. So much meat here. I need to make kebabs. That's something I definitely need to make. Yeah. Basically bacon before it's cut in the bacon. Yeah, it looks yummy. Let's fry that up, huh? More meat. Look at this. It's huge. All right, I'm gonna look at the cheese and we're gonna look at the all the butter and then I gotta get my list out so I don't forget the things we need. Oh my God. Oh, I need heavy whipping cream. Just get it here, it's made here. Okay. Just looking for something new to try, something with dill in it. I love dilly cheeses. I don't know, I'll have to keep looking. Nothing says go. I'm too afraid to try the little samples. I don't Oh my 
goodness. Oh, I thought that was okay. Hang on, let's make sure we're gluten free. Hold on one second. We love to get these. We need like a snack when we're out. Those are always good for me to get. Ooh. Oh, hot chili. Yummy. Mm. I don't know. Y'all tell me, do you have these everywhere? Hot chili? That's a big thing in Texas. Vino would be Kino. What's that from, honey? You always know that. I can't hear you. A little Vito would be Kino. You always say that. What's that from? Um, Tom Hanks and Bachelor Party. Ah. <laughs> oh, there's peanut butter. Hang on. We're waiting on a friend to message back. Oh, this is the danger zone. Oh, that's a Somebody has found squeaky toys for the dogs. Alright, I'm looking for a grub on. Oh, so many things to choose from. We are looking for. These are really good. I just discovered them. Much less expensive than all fun. All right, somebody, please explain this game to me. Ladies, if you're mad at your husband, this is the game you play. Although I don't advocate violence, it literally says you throw these. And they're burritos. What do you mean, family? Weird things you may search for. My cat wants to kill me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jumanji, we just watched Jumanji too. Yeti oh, that's gonna spaghetti. freak out some people. Those little wormy things, people don't like that. <laughs> Yeti and my spaghetti. Magic eight ball. Okay, here we go. Magic eight ball, will we cruise this year? It's broke. Oh, come on, give me an answer. Yes, yes, we will. Magic Gate Ball, will we cruise this year? It's broken. Is that an omen? Hang on. Is it first you don't succeed? Try again. Magic Gate Ball, will we cruise this year? I'm not. I'm not liking these answers. Should I be worried that it won't give me? Oh, oh, something's coming. You guys, look what that says. It says yes. It's true, it's the Magic 8 Ball. It, it knows all the answers. That said yes. Honey, we're cruising this year. We're cruising. All right, you guys, it's been too long since I've been out of the house. I think I've lost my mind. Avocado smash. Oh, Chewy. Hello, Chewy. All right. Rubik's Cube. I touched all this crap. Now I got to disinfect my hands. Yes, I did bring it with me. All right. Oh, how I love the HEB. Oh, it's just like it. Our HEB. This HEB usually has a whole bunch of really pretty housewares and stuff. I have to go find that aisle. That's a pretty bench. Pretty dresses. There were some pretty ones over there. Alrighty. Oh. Seriously, this is a weakness for Chandler and I. Oh my goodness, we love saltwater taffy. Oh, they have watermelons. Let's see if we can't hide it. Hang on. I will say these are the cutest. I will say these are the cutest shoes on the planet. I went with these from Target because they were so much less expensive than the ones I saw from Amazon. They're playing Yale Diamond. Uh oh. Now, touching me, touching you. Please don't touch me right now. Social distance. 
Do you hear? Everyone in this store did it. <laughs> Is it as good as the one, uh, the Central Market and the one far away? They have some pretty things here, but I so want some like espresso, some insulated, not espresso, but some insulated coffee cups. What'd you find? Wine freeze keeps wine at the ideal temperature with its built-in cooling gel. Oh, interesting. That's different. It is different. What do you do with those little bitty cups? Are they espresso? I mean, I don't know. Shot glasses? What are they? Well, these are shot glasses. I don't oh. know. I don't know either. Uh, cups and bottles. Oh, look at that. Oh, very cool. That is, let's see, warm broiled toast, bacon, turbo. Wow, that's huge though. Oh, look at the size of this one. Holy moly. That's great. You have that in a dorm room, like one of those, maybe it's not allowed, but it's so big, you can put pretty much anything in there. everything we got at the store. This is just bleach. Uh, it was marked down 22 cents. We're going to use this for the pool or whatever we need it for. Um, here's the cheese I was talking about that I sort of stepped away from. It's Havarti um, and it's dill. Havarti dill. Just looks really good. A couple of bell peppers. Chandler would like some Jolly Ranchers. Some avocados. This actually thing I thought was the best deal. Almond milk chocolate, almond milk regular, and heavy whipping cream. These two are for Chandler. Um, um, unsalted peanut butter and unsalted almond butter. It's just almond butter and just peanut butter. It's actually a better deal to buy it this way. Where's the price? There it is. And it was to buy the big one. My beloved Pico de Gallo. Yummy. At his, Joe's getting a drink this time. Rob's favorite chips from HEB and uh, a little of my favorite lipstick. I'll swatch this very quickly. This is in the color 015. You could probably read it. Hold on. Dazzle Me Pink. It's a lip balm. It's a like a tinted lip balm, but it sort of stays. Oh, it's good stuff. Hey, God. So there it is. It's all, the label would not come off of it. So now it's like, I'm going to have to get it with the, Something, clean it off. Hold on. That's exactly the peak I was looking for. So pretty. Okay. You can see it's just a pretty natural pink. It's so it, I'm very red from cord, from the mask, from itchiness. It's I have a hive that came out here, one that's coming here, two that are coming here. You know. Anyway, it's such a pretty, pretty pink. So it was six ninety eight. So okay. Now I've got to put this stuff away.